All right, I'm Scott Carpenter with WHI TV 10 here with Coach Hallett. And Coach Hallett, how are you doing? Great, Scott. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. Here in uh, Canada, it's quite the honor. It's awful, awesome to be here at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I mean, you start talking about the upcoming season. There's no more fitting place. And what a great facility and great hospitality they extend to us. It's, uh, it's a great place to get the season kicked off. Mm -hmm. Quite the special day. And uh, a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, you opened your speech with anticipating a great year. Can you go in a little more depth about that and what that means for Heidelberg as your eighth season coaching? What exactly do you mean by anticipating a great year? Well, we feel like we have the best team we've ever had. So based on past history, if we take care of our business, we have an opportunity to do some very special things. So, you know, there's going to be great challenges, starting with the Alma game, uh, the OEC schedule. We've got John Carroll right out of the gate. They've got an excellent team coming uh, coming back. It, it's it's going to be nice having the John Carroll Mount game split rather than back-to-back. -back. I think that's going to be good for us. Um, but, you know, we got to play everybody in this league, and everybody's tough, but I like our chances. Okay, and a couple more things. You uh, touched on your O-line with Austin, who is here today, and then Dam Shrouder, who is actually my RA, and Craig, and then um, Mike Lehman on the O-line. So what does that offensive line mean to you of experience and the capability they bring to Heidelberg? Well, we've been fortunate that we, we played at least eight offensive linemen in every game over the last five years. So we have, even with graduation, with Quentin Rumbert and Matt Byrne graduating, we have a number of guys that have experience. So we're not feeding two new, you know, two new starters to the Wolves. They've played. You know, whoever's going to be the starters in that spot. And we really, you know, we, we have so many guys that are quality level players that, you know, that we're going to have some some great opportunities to put great players in there. And that group, uh, probably more than any, have to really, really have to have one mindset, one heartbeat. They've got to work together because they're so interlocked in in our success. And you know, the, one of the reasons we've become a very, very, very good offensive unit is because we have a very, very, very good offense offensive line and right. it goes hand in hand. Right, and touching up on that, you did touch about Cartel Brooks and Mike Meese and Dante Dye and what they bring to him, and the offensive line means such a part of that. But as we know, Cartel Brooks set in the NCAA record. What do you think of those key offensive players as well for your team? They're pretty good. Let's give them the ball <laughs> a little bit, right? That, that's the challenge for us as coaches is in the course of a game, making sure that we're able to highlight each of our players to their skill sets. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't we don't want to sit there and have Dante Dye only have three catches. That that's not using him to his fullest potential. You know, we we're gonna be smart with Cartel. We don't want to expose him to extra injuries, but you know, I know that when when we need him to go, he can go. You know, he proved that last year with 337 yards on a bad field and 465 on a good field. So, you know, if we need him to go, I, I got great faith the guys up front are gonna get him the crease that he needs and he'll get he'll get us going. But you know, you got Brian Lacey, you got Jeff Helms, we got a ton of running backs that are really good so you know the the challenge is going to be balancing the all the touches so that we're, we're getting everybody's talent show showcased absolutely and that is coach Howell going into his eighth year and looking dapper as always in his suit thank you scott <laughs> thank you Thanks, guys. Thanks,